So if there's anything that social media is really good at, it is finding stuff to be mad about. It's like this outrage culture. You know, one person finds one thing to be mad about, so then they take the thing that made them mad, whether it was an article or a video or whatever, then they share it with the whole wide world, and then they have a big long rant connected to it. They're like, oh, I am so mad about this thing. Watch it so you can be mad with me. And then everybody else sees their big long rant about why they're mad, and then they watch the thing that made them mad, and then they're like, hey, that makes me mad too. I'm gonna share it as well and post a big long rant. And then that post gets shared again, then more people see it, and more people get mad about it. It's like a disease. So the latest thing to be outraged about is this new TLC tattoo thing. This outraged thing that people are mad about is contained to one particular area known as Springfield, Missouri. Evidently, there's like this new TLC tattoo show that takes place in Springfield, Missouri, and in the trailer they say some things that are not nice about Springfield, and people are mad about it. And just a little context here, I didn't grow up in Springfield, I don't live in Springfield, Missouri right now. I lived there from like second grade to fifth grade, and then later on in my life I moved back there so I could go to college there. So I'm gonna watch this trailer and tell y'all what I think. Oh man, where do I start? Guys, for real. This is what you're freaking out about. I've heard people who go to college in Springfield say way worse things about Springfield than those girls did. I mean, yes, they're generalizing the whole area by saying that, you know, it's a bunch of hicks and it's super religious, but I mean, to an extent, they're right. It's the mecca for the assemblies of God and there's like a church on every corner. The thing I'm mad about is that they didn't mention the obnoxious amount of Chinese restaurants that are there. I mean, I think it's genius that they're setting a reality show in downtown Springfield. I mean, there's prime TV worthy material just by hanging out in downtown Springfield for a day. You could have a whole TV show just based off life there. From personal experience, I can kind of see where these girls are coming from. Whether you have moved to a new place after growing up somewhere else or you've lived somewhere your entire life, it is super easy to become negative about the place that you live in. But if you love Springfield, keep loving it. Be proud of where your city, you know? Please don't hate on them for saying what they said. In my humble opinion, it wasn't that bad. I've heard people say way worse. There are elements of truth of what they said. I don't think they hate Springfield by any means. I mean, if they hated, they could always move. Here's the deal. It's a preview for an upcoming show. The only way that it becomes successful is if people watch this show. And the only way that people will watch this show is that if people know about it. You know, whether you're talking about it in a positive light or negative light, you're, you're giving them free publicity. I'm giving them free publicity just by making this video. If you really are that heartfelt about it, if you really do feel strongly against those mean, awful ladies who said all those mean, awful things, I mean, then don't watch the show. You spouting out how mad you are at them, how much you hate what they said, you're helping them out by letting people know that this show even exists. If people weren't mad and freaking out about this, I would have never even heard of it. So, yeah, in other news, I hurt my hand. The other day I was working out and I dropped a dumbbell on my hand so hard that it popped the fingernail right off. It hurt. And it's really gross. You want to see?